holiday so we're not going to do too much of a vlog but this is the beginning of this week's vlog for Northampton uh, we right outside one of our sponsors all the way down in Morgan Porth so Betty Surf if you're ever in this area guys it's a lovely little cove to come to is this we just had breakfast next door beautiful views not far from New Quay we've got a shop ice creams surf shop thanks for your sponsorship guys so uh so it's wednesday night uh we've been hard at it as you can tell um we've not been back off holiday too long whatsoever uh, you might have seen us facebook status uh we could be struggling again this week unfortunately um not that we're not committed um good god we we pull out trees to get to races when we can. Um, this week we've got a few um, various issues. We've come back off holiday. Um, the car's got a, a warning light on. Uh, we're struggling to get cover at work. Uh, we work by one o'clock and we've got a bit of Northampton for two, so that just might not be doable. Um, we've got to get um, a babysitter for the youngest, which is not going to happen. And it's Father's Day Sunday, and we um, normally get the eldest in the morning. So obviously, loads of different things and different reasons why we might not be getting there. Uh, we're going to get the cart ready. We're going to try as hardest. Um, but when it comes to commitment, it's the same for us as it is for many. Um, it irritates me because a lot of times on Facebook, people are quick to slate drivers not turning up here, there, and everywhere. Um, it's an eye opener when you're doing it. Even I. I've uh, from time to time gone to a stock car meeting and stuff, even though I, I work closely with Gillbanks and know what it takes. Even I've sat there and gone, uh, you know, there might be not a few um, missing and stuff, and people are quick to have a, their opinion on on Facebook and stuff like that. But the commitment that's involved, you know, we all work, everyone works. Uh, we've got families, um, diesel prices at the moment, you know, petrol prices and everything like that, it's a massive commitment, so to anybody who's um, ever thought about saying or having a moan about how many turn up, just have a quick think first of all, and to all you guys that do, um, I mean, you know, a lot to our bigger things than we do, so to all you stock car drivers, rebel drivers, you know, stock carts, former tools, everything like that, you know, fair play to you, well done, let's keep supporting the sport where we can, but from our point of view, um, at this moment in time we are struggling um, we'll try and pull some attack to the bag like we always do because we want to be there for the British it's 12 months to the day that we rented the cart that started all this in action so it would be nice to be there and it'd be nice to support everything um, um, we will see what we can do what's this space like I said we, we're very in a way um, let's see what happens uh, on that note see you there. So today's vlog, go bumpers ready, Mr Flood's also done a bracket on the roof so it allows it not to go far, as far back and then we've tried doing these bearings and an upgrade on caliper, this thing is so fiddly it's unreal, you don't really need brakes as such unless there's an emergency but when they don't work right they also stop this spinning, now this was stiff as chuff so we've put two new bearings in without a bearing press which is not ideal but when you compare it to that one that one was the smooth one before so now we're going to have a look at this one that's how we spend our Thursday nights after work hey Mr Flood Oi! he's the man that does most of the stuff on this car I'm not going to pretend I am learning, I've done my bit today but we're on it silly so yeah, no, number 17 at Northampton today Um bit of a shame really uh, what does that mean for us really well we're still going to struggle a little bit to get down tomorrow um, and um, the chase for the yellow roof is on hold um, pretty close to probably getting a yellow I would have thought with the points that we've had um, which has always been my aim since starting just to make sure we go up a roof and obviously that will be affected now because we're not getting any points this weekend at all so a bit disappointed but we will keep going. So, there. so after our previous video, we ended up here. That were a bit of a mix. So we ended up doing a bit of favours, this and other. Um, don't get me wrong, we did end up late, but with the help of many, many, there will be a picture in the vlog of who 
um, I got my kit on while everybody literally unloaded the cart and everything so thanks to Chris Butcher, Alex Butcher, uh, Lawson's and a couple of others who helped us do that. Um, on a different note we have just had his first rate um, and it's too wet, too wet. Um, the whole meeting has been delayed by half an hour. Um, frustratingly enough, even though it were a bit of a, a bit of a farce, but you've got to try it. We were running third at the time, so we were actually doing really well. We were only white top still going, still right way. Um, but he did call it for safety reasons. Um, we were having knackers off them, and they were just weren't going anywhere. It's, it's a bit wet. Northampton tends to get a bit slippy compared to some others when it's wet. So the whole meeting is now delayed half an hour. So. I am by myself today, so I'm not going to get any interviews, but we'll try and get some interviews tomorrow, because we're here tomorrow as well, um, and we'll keep going. So, thanks for watching. See you there. That's race two done. So I managed to get a race two. Um, we were leading for a couple of laps. Um, big accident, so we had to do a full restart. Full restart happened, we were leading again for a couple of laps. 
full restart because of a big accident. I wonder if I've seemed to do bloody full restarts where I'm in front. Uh, third time lucky. Um, full restart started, led. Um, and for about five or six laps, we actually pulled away. We were rapid. Half a lap in front, easy. Um, with five laps to go, I got a bit giddy into one at corners, got a bit of a bounce on. Um, just let some, a couple catch me up. Uh, but we've come across in third. So, podium finish. First race, shale, sh you know, bumpy shale. Nobody to help, because I'm here by my send today. Um, so I've been getting help from Lawson's and people out where they can, but basically we're racing by ourselves. Um, we've got a podium, so that's third. First race, podium. I've got some video footage, I think, from um, Lawson's. Um, so let's hope they'll send it across. Uh, bit miffed, you don't get a trophy. It'd be nice for a trophy. Uh, even a quid shot one, but uh, yeah, we're on a winner. Third place. Brilliant. See they. So Charlotte, <laughs> Mrs. Stock Carts, where did number 17 come? He got third. Yes. Yeah, it took a little while to get him because it was the 15. Because he was trying to bribe him to make sure it was 15. Yeah, cheers, pal. You didn't give him enough money, did you? I'll <laughs> we'll have to give her a tenner next time. Get in. So just to give you an idea how mucky that race was. So my tear off and my goggles didn't really help much so with two laps to go we took them off um, it were almost unraceable again but desperation was to try and get another race in I think we've called it for the day so we've only really had one full race uh, we were running alright uh, we were staying on there were loads and loads dropped off we were in about 8th and uh, it was that wet and that damp um, it started misfiring so we ended up pulling off with about three corners to go, literally from the engine turning it sent off. We couldn't go anymore, there was nothing else I could do. We were still overtaking a couple with it misfiring um, and I was managing to keep it in a straight line when many others were spinning um, and we could have got an half decent result out of a bit of a almost farcical race but you can understand why they tried it. End of the day, we like racing on shale, we like racing on mud, um, a bit of rain or more than a bit of rain when we started and it were all right, we have to keep going. Um, but the cart, given it, it were that wet, the cart would not, um, would not do anymore. So our first did not finish for a long time and it wasn't anything we did wrong. The cart just did not want to know. I think that's it for today. Let's hope for a bit more luck tomorrow because yet again, we were doing all right. So see the on that one. So racing done for today, um, decided it was just too wet and as you can tell now, the, the glamorous life of racing, it's absolutely chucking it down, we've tried his best, we're sleeping it back at car, Brad, 816, Brad, Yeah. how's your day been? Oh, alright, not too bad, struggled with the weather. What are we doing now mate? Heading up to the bar now. To the pub? Not for alcohol though, is it? It's because it's warm. Yeah, honest. it's because it's warm. So we're off to the pub to get even wetter. Enjoy. See ya. Cut out. What's up, Ian? It's up with anybody, mate. Good lad. Three. <laughs> uh, early morning in the pits after a few beers and stuff. Not a lot of movement. But it's sunny.
So it's Sunday, the sun is out as I showed you in videos this morning. Someone's here. She's made it, unfortunately my eldest hasn't. Um, my youngest is currently pretending to be sleepy. So long story short, today so far we did yesterday's final um, this morning. So um, in that it was really dry, very bouncy. Uh, we came 12th or 13th I think. Me and Jess followed over each other online, so no points on that. But it was a final, so that's a good result in a final for me. We've just had his first heat race for the British championship um, and we have only gone and come second that's a second and third this weekend the cart were nailed on uh, we were getting a lot of banging from behind but I used it to my advantage um, a couple of drivers I think were going a bit over aggressive and it spoiled their game um, I just used their extra bit of pace to help me um, and it, anything could have happened in the last few laps uh, we could have all swapped places in top three or four or we could have all ended up in wall but we didn't so that's second that's the third and the second this week guys so Thank you for all your support. Uh, if there's not as much video footage at races, we do apologise. Obviously, we've been a bit short manned, uh, but we will continue. And we're doing an interview. Ryan. Hello. Where did you finish in that race, mate? Behind you. That a lot further behind, though. I don't know. I am spun out turn four. You've um, been enjoying it this weekend, haven't you? Oh, uh, yeah. It's been good results. I was going to say, I think I still got points that one, so it's going well. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Mixture on track. Wet, wet and dry, so yeah, I was gonna say you're finding one, one, one minute. I was a bit worried after it was like going so well in the wet. I was a bit concerned it wasn't gonna get any dry stuff done, but one minute it's like Sahara Desert, damage. next minute it's like monsoon weather, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say it's just ready water to track, but it didn't actually do much. I was gonna say I've done both um, wheel guards, went both of them, got knocked in. Oh dear, so but you're loving it, you're smiling, much. mate. Yeah, that's smiling, the main thing. that's it. I was gonna say getting results, so yeah, yeah. spot on. Good man. The roof again. I had to see that again. Good man, good man. So yeah, just had to thank Ryan for yesterday by the way, because he actually allowed us to uh, clean his car with a mobile jet wash, so what a man. With a bucket and a, and a jet wash, so mint, can't complain. Uh, not so happy. Brad, what's up with yours mate? Another blown up engine. Not good mate. Nah. Any chance of getting it sorted or is it just pack and roll? Pack and roll, nah. Sorry for that mate. Thanks. At least we had some beers last night. Yeah, we had. Keep smiling, mate. Last night. Right now. Second race that day, we were uh, we were running third, front two in front of us crashed, one lap to go, thought I were on for a win, and we got absolutely buried from someone behind who weren't paying enough attention, straight into park cars, um, so three of us ended up buried. So, race pace, we're on, on for a good win, or a second or third, worst case scenario, and it was stolen from us, but happy days. Uh, good news is we have actually met uh, the British, um, by actually getting points rather than just going round in circles after we actually med it and qualified for the British so we're just going to go look at the board now and see where we are
So yeah, obviously one of our longer vlogs because it were a full weekend. So I'll try and keep this as short and sweet as I can, but I do have to say a few things. Obviously it were obvious that we weren't um, going to make it midweek. Um, I even did the video saying we weren't going to make it. Um, I even went to work Saturday um, with no pre-planning whatsoever. So a massive thank you to everybody who helped, um, especially Cara, for us to suddenly rush around and get there. As you can see in the video, and I mentioned it, you know, we turned up dead late. Um, they were pretty much getting in their carts as we turned up for the race. But that many people helped us. We got out for the first race, so thank you to everybody. Such a shame first race was uh, was cancelled because we were running really well. I think we were in third at the time. Um, but other than that, fantastic weekend. Um, like I said, I could go on about it forever. We got two of us best results ever. So we got a second and a third. We ended up actually starting the British um, as a point scorer on the third row. Unfortunately, um, obviously that didn't really end too well um, with taking a bit of da damage as such. Um, and obviously we also lost out on a an half decent race result a little bit earlier on from um, from a bit of a uh, an over exuberant tap as such. But listen, brilliant, fantastic, loved it all. Just like to say thank you for Ian Higgins um, and Northampton Race Track. Um, it was an hard weekend. Um, it could have been easy for people to moan. It could have been easy for people to quit, but. I love shell racing me for example so i'd take more of them um and we've got to just dig deep and get on with it when it is like that um cars will rinse off um, um ian always has the right calls when it comes to safety um, um and it was good just to see everybody get together um so I enjoyed the weekend thank you for everybody's help like i said car the lawson's spence everybody who helped me there ryan and everybody um it was fantastic uh, so listen onwards and upwards we're going to miss Skeggy, um, and then after that is the grading, so let's see whether we need to get any paint out. Um, uh, other than that, like I said, can't say thanks enough. Loved it. Um, really enjoying stock cart racing at the moment. Nothing like racing to get your ups and downs. When it's crap, it's low. When it's when you're doing alright, it's high. Uh, we're on a high at the moment. Let's just um, dig deep and keep going. Loving it. So, on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching, um, and we will see you... Ooh, about three, three, four weeks uh, for another vlog. Thanks to all my sponsors. Thank you. Loving it. Sibby.